In this episode, we are going to talk about capacitor and capacitance. Very interesting. So, what is a capacitor? A capacitor is a passive element that stores energy in its electric field. So, it is a passive element that stores energy. We know that passive elements, they either store or dissipate energy. So, capacitors, they store energy in its electric field field very interesting electric field so it has a capacity to store charges that's what gives us energy are we okay and how do these capacitors behave this is possible because it has it has two two pair of please pay attention each capacitor has two pair of conducting plates we'll talk more about this conducting plates and this is separated by an insulator are you okay so what makes the capacitor to be able to store this electric energy or stores energy is that it has two pairs of conducting plate that is separated by an insulator so this insulator is called dielectric the insulator is called dielectric and this dielectric can be either air it can be of ceramics and it can also be of what common paper are we okay so this is it so any capacitor is able to store what? Energy, that is electrical energy. In our first episode in the applied electricity, we talked about passive and active elements. Let's look at how capacitors are drawn or how we can identify a capacitor. So we have two forms of capacitors. We have a fixed one, a fixed capacitor meaning its capacitance cannot be changed and we have variable as the name implies variable it can be what set to what we want so in terms of circuits we have this is a capacitor and this is also one capacitor we can also draw it this way this is also a capacitor so the two Anytime you see this, these are fixed capacitors. They are fixed. They are value. If the capacitance is one, it is one. If it is true, it is true. It cannot be what changed. Are we okay? And we have the variable capacitors also drawn this way. In the same thing, we have it this way. But this shows that it is a variable capacitor. We have this with this. So these two are also variable capacitors. We can set it to the range that we want. Are we okay? So now, if we want to connect a capacitor in a circuit, how are we going to connect that? We are going to see a diagram where we have a voltage source and a capacitor connected so this is going to be a simple circuit with our voltage source so this is going to be there and we have the second part so this is our capacitor this is the positive charge and this is given remember we have two parallel plates one of positive charge and the other of what negative charge this is our voltage so in terms of connecting capacitors in a circuit this is how we are going to connect it are we okay it is very simple now this is all about capacitors we are just knowing it to be able to store energy that is electrical energy we are knowing that it is it has two pair of conducting plates the negative and the positive that will make it possible for charge to move from one plate to the another and they are also separated by dielectric and we have it can be air ceramic and what 
paper. Are you okay? Paper, P-A-P-E-R. We also have fixed conductors and what variable conductors, their drawings are, are also indicated. Are we okay? Now let's look at, we are talking about capacitor and what capacitance. So let's look at capacitance. So as we are saying capacitor store charges, the ability of the capacitor to store charges is what we call as what? Capacitance, very simple. So as we know that resistors have resistances, that's the same thing a capacitor have what? A capacitance, that is, we can define this as the amount the amount of charge that a capacitor and store per a unit of voltage across its plates. So we saw in the circuits how we connect a capacitor to a voltage source. So once we connect a capacitor to a voltage source, the amount of charges that it will be able to store per a unit voltage is the measure of its capacitance. So from the formula, we can say that the capacitance of a capacitor is equal to the charge that is able to be stored on the voltage applied very simple formula so in order to calculate the capacitance of any capacitor we use this formula and remember that our capacitance is measured in farad which is f and our q as always is coulombs and that is also c we also have our v to be volts which is also what? V. So we have this, we can be able to calculate for the capacitance or any unknown variable. We have some examples to solve. Let's solve these examples. So example one, a 500 pico capacitor, that's 500 picofarad capacitor is connected to a 200 volt battery. So this is 500 picofarad, the unit for capacitance. is connected to a 200 volt battery. Now find the charge on the capacitor's plate. Are we okay? So we are going to find the charge on the capacitor's plate that will be able to store a charge of 500 picofarad and being connected to a 200 volt battery that is very simple so from the question we have our capacitance to be 500 pico and pico in prefix is 10 to the power negative 12 farad and we have our voltage to be 200 volt the capacitance of a capacitor is giving us the charge on the voltage so here we are interested in the charge where charge is capacitance multiplying the voltage across its plates now we have our charge to be equal to 500 multiplying 10 to the power negative 12 by 200 and that is going to give us 0 0.1 times 10 to the power negative 6 coulombs and this is the same thing as 0 0.1 micro coulombs are we okay so this charge is stored on the capacitors plates are we okay example 2 let's look at how we can solve it the charge on the plate of a capacitor is 6 millicoulombs when the potential difference between them is 2.4 kilo volt determine the capacitance of the capacitor so straight away we list our parameters k which is the charge is 6 millicoulombs in prefix milli is 10 to the power negative 3 coulombs 
and the potential difference, that's the voltage between them, the two plates is 2.4 kilo. In prefix, that's 10 to the power positive 3 volts. We have to calculate for the capacitance of the capacitor C. So we know that the capacitance of a capacitor is the charge on the voltage. This implies that our C is going to be the charge, which is 6 to the power negative 3 on the voltage, which is 2.4 to the power positive 3. And the capacitance C is going to be 2.5 times 10 to the power negative 6 farad, or our C is 2.5 micro farad. Are we okay? So it is very simple. It's a formula work. So once you have it, you are good to go. Let's solve the example three, which is quite interesting with some tricky aspects. Example three. A steady current of 10 amperes flows into a previously uncharged capacitor for 1.5 milliseconds. When the PD, that's the potential difference between the plates, is 2 kilovolts, find the capacitance of the capacitor. An interesting question. So now, from the question, I'm seeing a current of 10 amperes. So I have current I as 10 amperes. It flows into a previously uncharged capacitor for 1.5 milliseconds. So I'm seeing some time as 1.5 milli, which is a prefix of 10 to the power negative 3 seconds. When the potential difference between the plates is, we have potential difference volts is 2 kilovolts. Find the capacitance of the capacitor, which is our C. Now we know that the C is charge on the V, but we don't have the charge given. Are we okay? We have the potential difference V and we have to look for C. So how do we get our Q? Now we also know that Q, in order to get the charge that is flowing or the charge measured in a capacitor, it is going to be the current multiplied by the time. How much did the current flow, the time flow rate of the current. Are we okay? So now this is going to help us calculate for our charge. And this is going to be our C, which is current multiplying time on the voltage. So this is going to be our current, which is 10 amperes, multiplying by the time, which is 1.5 to the power negative 3 on the voltage which is 2 kilo to the power positive 3 and with this we are going to get the capacitance to be 7.5 times 10 to the power negative 6 capacitance farad and that is 7.5 micro farad so this is the capacitance of the capacitor thank you for watching this episode kindly subscribe to the channel drop your comments like the video and share see you in the next episode for another interesting episode